As I have been in and out of the trading scene for a long time, I've noticed a phenomenon. It's a rather dangerous one too, of people trading for items, not because they generally want said items, but because it will make their peers jealous, and they want to fit in. I think I should shoot the shit with y'all here and tell you to please not buy items for the sake of looking cool and rich, and instead buy them because you generally like them. Now when I say this, this doesn't apply to you if trading is a hobby for you, and you have no personal attachment to the high tier items. If you just trade for the sake of making tons of shekels and that's it, then you're good. This doesn't really apply to you. Same if you honest to god want the high tier items because you genuinely, to the bottom of your heart, want that item. If you want a fade karambit knife or a burning flames hong kong cone, then you are excluded from this little rant of mine. However, if you fall under the camp of wanting to look cool and superior to other players, please consider a few things. Primarily that what you're going to be buying is going to be very expensive, has a high probability of regret hitting you, and if you ever resell, there's a good chance you won't even make your money back. In fact, you will lose money. Starting with my first point is that the item is going to be very expensive. I mean, this rant can apply to real life items as well, but <laughs> that's besides the point. <laughs> If you're trying to get the most expensive item possible, then be prepared to trade or spend a lot for it. In CSGO and TF2, there is almost no such thing as the most expensive unusual or knife. Odds are someone else will have a more expensive item, and even if you do become the most expensive item holder yourself, odds are that there's a good chance somebody could unbox an item and that thing could be even more valuable than the thing you own, and it one-ups you. It's such a high ladder to climb, it's almost impossible to never have an end, so why compete? To even have an unusual or a knife would put you in the top 1% of all players of the game anyway, so why would you want to try and get higher? My second point would be regret hitting you harder than an 18-wheeler going through Texarkana, Texas. This regret is often called buyer's remorse, when you buy something either by overpaying and realizing that you were in the moment and you overpaid, or realize that what you bought was not really all hyped up as it was turned out to be. Trust me, I've had that feeling a couple times when I bought a Burning Flames towering pillar of hats. It wasn't extreme buyer's guilt, but I had a feeling of something being wrong, and at the time I didn't know what it was. Turned out, I genuinely didn't really want the pillar. I mean, sure, it was nice to have the nice item, but I started having gears turn in my head. These gears started telling me that I really don't need this to be happy in my TF2 fashion game. I should just get stuff that makes me happy. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Learn from my mistakes than others that have made the similar mistake if I have. Or don't. Some people need to learn the hard way on certain things of life, I guess. Another thing you need to worry about is, typically, the more expensive an item is, the longer you're going to need to wait to resell it. Should you ever need to, of course. This is bad, especially if you really want to sell your item in a hurry. The impatience will lead to something terrible, and you selling your item for a much reduced discount in order to get money or raw keys, often leaving you in the hole of what you initially put into that item. And would you look at that? You have officially come full circle. And for what? To have your time and money wasted? <sighs> it hurts, doesn't it? Being burned like that? Trust me, it sucks. So how do we avoid all these bad things I just laid out? Well, simple. Just buy something you genuinely want. Keep in mind that cosmetics and knives in TF2 and CSGO are just that, cosmetics. They're visual eye candy. They are not needed to play the game. Both are free, and you can enjoy both without dropping a penny. Do you want an unusual or a knife? That's also perfectly fine, just make sure you have the money to do so. Make sure your money's expendable and you don't need it for real world applications. Now comes the part of figuring out what type of eye candy you want personally. This is very subjective and it comes down to your personal tastes. I've been with Team Fortress 2 since 2007 and I've had a lot of phases for items come and go for me. However, I'm genuinely happy with five types of effects, all of which I am very happy with. Cool effect on weapons, TF logos, overclocked and memory leak, booze, amaranthine, and stare from beyond on hats, and ghastly ghost slash haunted phantasm on taunts. These to me are aesthetically pleasing to me, and very greatly. I love the orbiting effects around my hats. TF logo is just perfect for me. It looks nice, decently sized, and hell, it's cheap. Memory leak and overclocked are just wonderful to look at. Despite them being a bit smaller than TF logo, the effects are amazing to look at because they're very complicated. I even one up these effects and I got another overclock and memory leak on my sniper class. The pixels will actually stack up and go in sync with each other, pixel for pixel. It looks fucking amazing. Haunted Phantasm and Ghastly Ghosts are beautiful to look at, and cool effect to me is just nice because of the ice falling down and the effect is rather large and noticeable. I also recently got into CSGO, mainly because it went free. 
I've always had my eye on CSGO, but I really didn't want to shill money out for it because at the time, if I ever had money in my Steam wallet, I always bought other games. However, since I actually gave CSGO a fair shake, I loved it. I actually collect weapons with dog stickers on them. You know, stupid little macros, or the stupid ass Shiba Inu dog. I love the fact that a stupid internet shitpost meme can actually get into a tryhard game like CSGO. And because of that, I actively collect all weapons with at least one dog sticker on them. Hell, two of my weapons already have four of them on them. I really don't care for skins, honestly, though, so I won't really try to go for the highest tier skin, at the very least right not now. I mean, sure, there's preferences I always have with certain skins, but I prefer the dog stickers on them, really. Also, I do care for some knives in the game. Not most, personally, however, I do like falchion and butterfly knives. Preferably butterfly knives because their animations are just very, very nice to look at, especially when you're using the knife to move around really fast. However, that's just me personally. I really don't care for skins, or gloves either, actually, matter of fact. Their animations are nice, though. However, gloves, I don't really see the appeal to. I haven't really looked into them, but I don't really see the appeal of having gloves on my character, but who knows. Maybe I'll turn, maybe I'll turn a new leaf on gloves one day. You never know. Now, if you're still not convinced, and you have a mindset of wanting the most expensive in-game items for the sake of having it, then here's another thought for you to chew over, and at a different angle as well. Do you really want to be that kind of person in the trade server? I think you know who I'm talking about. The kind of person who just generally complete ass to somebody who has a cheaper knife or unusual. The kind who will scoff at the thought of somebody enjoying themselves and having an item that is not worth as much as theirs. Do you really want to be that guy? A fucking tool? A fucking retard who has to put others down to make himself feel better? Do you just want to be him? A fucking bully? To have fake happiness in the form of really expensive virtual items? To try and suck genuine happiness from someone in order to make them feel happy about themselves? Do you really want to be a nasty son of a bitch like him? No. I sure hope not. You think he's happy? No, he isn't. Matter of fact, he's far from it. He is deeply troubled with himself. He is a sad husk of a human emotionally. He is such a loser. If you want to be genuinely unhappy, then follow in his footsteps like so many others have and buy the most expensive item you can possibly afford for the sake of just looking rich.